That's right. Okay, here we go. <laughs> From the neighborhood of Lawrenceville in the city of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where no one knows when to turn left, it's the Sunday Gravy Show. <laughs> The Sunday Gravy Show is a concert series that takes place in people's houses. Whammo, my husband, is the host, and there's a featured performer. So it sort of combines the idea of house concerts and uh, interview style radio or TV shows, and puts that all in a really, in the most intimate setting we could find, which is someone's living room. The Sunday Gravy Show is a house concert unlike any other because it's a House concert, interview, improv, songwriting, game show, extravaganza. One of the cool things about the show is we do it in a different house every time. So what this enables is people from different neighborhoods to come meet each other in somebody's cool house and getting people to cross bridges and come to different neighborhoods and experience new things is, is tricky and I think the Sunday Gravy Show is, is a very good catalyst for that. It's this house show and it's about the music and it's, and it's about the audience, but it's also about spaces and, and showcasing different parts of, of the city and homes that, that folks are in the process of rehabbing or have rehabbed or have some sort of architectural significance. In the late 90s, I was a young homeowner in Pittsburgh. I had a house in Highland Park that I bought in my early 20s, and I wanted to open a venue, but I was also working a full-time job. But um, I did really want to bring music to town that nobody was bringing, and that turned into a series called the Green Mannequin Music in the House series. And one Sunday a month, I would have local and national touring acts uh, play in my living room, and it was just incredible. It was remarkable. I think it's important to bring new artists to this town because this town really doesn't have a lot of venues that support touring bands. Touring bands will drive through town and not play here in this big city. And I want to see them play. And I don't want to have to drive to Cleveland to see them. And so we're just trying to do our little part as well. And because of the Sprout Fund, we're able to offer a little bit of cash to get people down the road, play a show here, people can see them, people can enjoy it, they build up their audience a little bit and they work their way to another gig. Pittsburgh is this, this city of, of folks who are up to stuff and the Sprout Fund has been there to, to catalyze some pretty amazing projects. Having a local partner and supporter of ideas and initiatives that is very accessible and uh, really breaks down the barriers to resources for folks with, with amazing ideas is just, I don't, I don't know that it exists in other places. I think for me, the inspiration piece of it harkens back to the experiences that I've had listening to live music in settings where you got to be really, really close to people that were very, very talented, um, but also experience them just as everyday folks. I don't know that artists get to fully just be them, themselves and relax on tour in ways that aren't still about performing. And our hope is that this begins to, to break down some of that too and really provide a space for, for musicians that's fun, a little bit, a little bit different, lets folks uh, share a little bit, showing the multi-dimensionality of, of performers and, and what makes them tick and what inspires them is something that we're aiming for. So. I think that the house makes that possible in a, in a lot of ways. You're coming into someone's home. It's like coming to a party or coming to stay or you know to visit. You're gonna get to see music in a way that you either never experience or very rarely get to.